Bruchem Aboyim. Thank you very much for coming. Again, we are in our series of gematrias. This is the uh, 24th lecture on the gematrias. We are on the number 21 in the counting of the Jewish numbers. So the number 21, Chaf Aleph, is really not seen many times in Torah. Uh, it is uh, the gematria of one of God's names, though. The name Eye, I will be. In Shemot, in the first sedra of the book of Shemot, second book of the Torah, Moshe there is told by God to go to Egypt to free the children of Israel. Moshe says to God, well, when the children of Israel ask me, what is your name? What shall I answer them? And God replies, Eye Asher Eye. I will be who I will be. Now, God's name, Eye, is repeated twice, the Gematri of 21. 21 plus 21 is numerical value of 42. Why is that important? The, the Gematri of the word of uh, bum has a numerical value of, 20, of 42. Bum is a bays and a mem, which means in them. Now, the first letter, bays, is the first letter of the written Torah, Bereshit, starts with the bays. And the mem is the first letter of the oral Torah, the Mishnah, that begins, Me'em Asai Koronesh Shema, from when do we begin to say the Shema Yisrael, by the way, which is also the first mitzvah that a bar mitzvah boy has, of saying the Shema on the night that he becomes 13. Now, we say in the Shema Yisrael, Mishinantan Levanech Vadibar Tabam, and you shall teach them to your children, and you shall speak in them. So the word bum means both the written and oral Torah, the Beis of Bereshit and the Mem of Me'emotai. Now by teaching our children Torah, we are able to overcome what we call the generation gap that usually exists between parents and children. The 85-year-old scholar and the five-year-old child are both learning the same book. The grandchild and the, and the Zeta have what to talk about father as well if he's learning. In addition to the words of the Torah, 42 also connects to the 42 journeys that the Jewish nation traveled during their 40 years in the desert. In the portion of Masai, Moshe Rabbeinu records all of these 42 journeys. The Holy Bad Shem Tov stated that the 42 journeys that our ancestors experienced in the desert are a sign for us that we too will experience 42 major events in our lives. These events will define who we are, so to speak, the challenges of life. So we need to relate these events to our children for guidance in their lives and to teach them that we can see clearly, especially in hindsight, the hand of God directing us on our journey through this world. Without his help and the Torah's guidance, we would not be able to succeed. If one were to multiply 21 times 21, that would equal 441. 441 is a very important gematria. It's the gematria of the word emet, truth. If you thought that is because we add four, four and one, four, four and one is nine. And the number nine is identified with truth. So much so that if you multiply the number nine times any number, it always comes back to nine. Truth never changes. So we see that the name of God, Eye, is very much connected to truth. Now, Psalm 145 in Tehillim has 21 verses. We refer to it as the Ashrei. It follows the Hebrew alphabet with the exception of the letter Nun, which alludes to Nun of falling down, no fell, a negative. We recite this Psalm three times a day, twice in the morning prayer and once in the afternoon prayer. Our rabbis tell us that one can earn his portion in the world to come by saying this prayer with proper concentration, especially the verse, Yet you open up your hand and you satisfy every living thing with its needs. The 21st of Nisan, first month of the year, is the seventh day of Pesach. It has a special place in Jewish history. It was the day that the Jews who left Egypt Cross the Red Sea. It symbolized the birth of the Jewish nation coming out of the water like a baby from the mother's womb. It was the first time that the nation sang praise to God for his kindness to them. They sang what we call the Uz Yashir, 
a prayer that we say every morning in our prayers. It was not just a praise to God for the past redemption. It was also an allusion to the future redemption. Oz meaning then in the future. With Tchias HaMesim, with the revival of the dead. Moshe, our teacher in the whole nation, will arise and they will sing praise to God for bringing the Messiah. Now the period between the 17th of Thomas until the 9th of Ab is what we call the three weeks. 21 days known as Bain Hamitsarim between the straits, a time period that we observe as a remembrance of the destruction of both holy temples, a time of national mourning and prayer, a time of hope that God will forgive our sins, bring the Messiah and rebuild the third temple. May it come quickly in our time. The 21st of Tishrei, the opposite side of the calendar, the seventh month, is also a very propitious time. It marks the end of Sukkot, and many believe that it is the sealing of the decree given over by God on the high holidays of Rosh Hashanah and the Yom Kippur. It is called Hoshana Rabbah, the last day that we shake the Lulav and Esrik. During the holiday of Sukkot, we circle the Bima once every day. On Hoshana Rabbah, we do so seven times. We also take a bundle of willows, a revot, branches, and beat them on the ground five times a ritual that we hope will diminish the severity of our judgment, five times corresponding to the five parts of the soul. Now the number 21 is, is made up of a two and a one. Oh, before I do that, in Kings, um, 21 is also, in Kings, Malach and Aleph and Beis, one and two. It refers to the 21 sins the Yeruvim ben Nevat transgressed, again, when he took away the ten tribes from the, the kingdom of Judah and began the kingdom of Israel, taking with him the ten tribes. Now, the number 21 is made up of a two and a one. This alludes to many different ideas. Man and woman have, the, have within their names the Yud and the Hay of God's name. So you have the two where one is God, is in part of both of them. A marriage is made up of two opposites, two negatives, if you will, that when brought together form a better one, a positive. The creation of a child is the uniting of two, husband and wife, with the assistance of God Almighty himself. Chokmah, wisdom, and Bina, understanding, are referred to in Hasidus as father and mother, and as them who give birth to dot, knowledge. From the three categories of Jewish men, Kohanim, Levium and Yisraelim, two were chosen to serve God, the Kohanim and the Levium. Two also allude to the battle that we wage with our good inclination against our evil inclination. We have a belief that when two people join together, their combined good inclinations, the Yetzatovs, can overpower an evil inclination, the Yetzahara. The power of two against one. Now, it sounds good, but in reality, if there are two good inclinations, then there are also two evil inclinations. So the ratio really remains the same. Why is it two against one? The answer is really very logical. The evil inclination, by its very nature, is selfish. It only cares about itself. It only wants its host to sin. It doesn't care about anyone else. Our good inclination, on the other hand, is concerned not only about itself, but also about others, and trying to help them succeed and do good. So when two people join together to achieve a positive goal, their good inclinations can overpower the single evil inclination who remains singular and selfish. At a blackjack table, people pray with great emotion to God to get 21. The letter Shin is the 21st letter of the Hebrew alphabet. God willing, next week, we will deal with the letter Shin, again, this 21st letter. May God bless us that we take the negatives of 21 and use them in a positive way to bring Mashiach Sikani, Kenu, the Holy Messiah, quickly and in our time. Thank you very much for coming. God bless and have a good Shabbos.